morning. All right, so we're going to do something today that we haven't done in a little bit. I want to do an episode of Grind My Gears. You know what really grinds my gears? The body. Just, just in general. This, this skin-covered meat sack that helps us traverse through life. Man, it's annoying sometimes. So, let me tell you why. Because it's really, it's a contest. Who can be more stubborn? Your body or your brain? Now, what brings this up today? Uh, I mean, this happens routinely because, you know, this is America and we want things and we want them now. I had a patient come in that has numbness and tingling going all the way down to the arms, hands, and fingers. Been going on for years. And they've tried this, they've tried that, the other thing, injections and pills and all this you know, stuff and you know, surgery is their only other option. So they come to me and, doctor, can you help us? Of course. So we do a thorough exam. We take an x-ray. We find out that the area in the, uh, the junction, if you will, between her neck and her upper back, called the CT junction, the cervical thoracic junction, is jacked. Okay, it's got twists and turns in it. It's got bones that are tilted, pressing on nerves, out of place, pulling on muscles. And why is that important? Because the nerves that come out of here go all the way down to here. Okay, so you ever heard of sciatica? Sciatica is low back pain that follows the sciatic nerve down to the foot. Think of this like she had sciatica of the neck, basically. Okay, um, don't Google sciatica of the neck. It's not a thing. That's just for an analogy. So, her spine's jacked up. Her muscles are jacked up. Nerves are being crushed. Having ridiculous symptoms all the way down the arm. You know, it talks about how she can't sleep at night. Um, husband's, you know, going to give her massages and stuff like that. Poor dude. Um, has to help take care of his wife. But, so, I lay it out on the table. Here's what's going on. Here's how long it's going to take to fix it. Or maybe not even fix it. Here's how long it's going to take just to start to feel better. Newsflash, I did tell him it was going to take a week. I told him it was going to take much longer. Because again, the body is stubborn. It's a slow learner. Okay, It gets used to whatever you do most often. So if you sit at a desk like this for a long time, or you play on your phone, or you're a golfer, you do a thing on one side over and over again, baseball player, same thing, hockey player, whatever it is, your body gets used to whatever you do most often. And if you are in pain, if you are in a state of dis-ease or dysfunction for an extended period of time, your body gets used to that. It's going to take time, and odds are a lot of it, to dig you out of this hole. So, she comes in. We adjust her. Crunch. It hurts. Yeah. That's going to happen, especially when you've been playing around with something for months like that. She comes in a second time. How would you do after the first adjustment? Hurt right after I got adjusted. Rest of the day, felt really good. Then, you know, the same thing started happening. And I woke up in pain, all this kind of stuff. Okay, cool. We made a change. You felt good for a little bit. But in making a change, your body went, what? This is new and different. We're not used to it. Let's go back to the way we were. The way we were sucked. It was painful. It caused discomfort. It causes numbness and tingling down the hand. But it's what we know, so that's what we're going to do. That's why you have to come back to a chiropractor. That's why you have to go back to a physical therapist. That's why you have to go back to the gym. Because your body goes back to what it knows, right? Especially when you're trying to teach us something new. So she comes back in. Crunch. Adjust her again. Literally in the office. She starts doing this. I can feel my fingers. Cool. Awesome. We'll see you tomorrow. She misses her appointment tomorrow. Goes throughout the weekend. Comes back in yesterday with her husband. I don't think we're going to continue care. I'm legitimately shocked. Genuinely surprised. I'm sorry, um, why, why is that? Well, we don't think it's helping. Well, after the first time we adjusted her, she had feeling in her hands for a good few hours, which she hasn't had in months. Yeah, but it came back. Yep, sure did. So we adjusted her again. 
And literally right when we did it, the moment later, she could feel her finger. She didn't even have to wait a couple of hours like she did the first time. Yeah, but then, you know, she woke up in pain again. Uh Uh-huh. So what do you think we should do? Oh, I think we should try a different avenue. So you've tried this litany of things. Nothing has helped. Or did it help? I don't even know. Now to think about that. You come to me. We move the bone off the nerve. She gets feeling back. We help. The body goes back to what it knows. She comes back in. We move the bone off the nerve again. We continue to retrain the body. The body resists the change and it moves back to what it has known for the past three, four, five months, whatever. And then you come in here and you tell me it's not working. Well, you know best. Oh, I I'm, I'm feel like my, my physical therapy friends, hell, my other chiropractic friends, my, my trainer friends, my, my coaching friends, you all are probably out there like, preach! For those of you who have never tried to change your body, when you get to that point in life, it's going to take time. It's going to be hard. You're going to want to quit. I run into this every day with people. This one was just particularly frustrating because we made such great strides in such a short period of time. But for some reason, that still wasn't enough. Change takes time. Change takes pain. Change takes money. Change is worth it. If you want it. You got something you want to change? Tired of being in pain? You want to sleep better? You want to feel better? Heck, you want to earn more money? You want to be able to get on the ground and play with your kids or play with your grandkids? You want to be able to help cook uh, Thanksgiving dinner? Because in the past you haven't been in the kitchen because you haven't been able to stand that long. You want to go? You want to go play football in the yard with the kids on Thanksgiving? Summer's coming up. You want to be able to go out and play ball with your kids. You want to play t-ball. You want to play catch. You want to play soccer. You want to be able to move around. You want to be able to take part in life. You want to be able to enjoy life. How long do you have to go before you're in that kind of shape, in that kind of condition? You got a long way to go? Start now. Start right now. And know that change is going to be painful. But man, it's going to be worth it. I'll tell you right now. I've got a three-year-old and one and a half-year-old. It's pretty cool to be able to get on the ground and play with them. It's pretty cool to be able to pick them up and throw them around. It's pretty cool to know that when they get into sports, I'm going to be able to participate with them. Not just sit on the sidelines and yell. Can you do that? Can you participate? Or are you sitting on the sidelines because change is tough? You ever need anything, you need any help, any assistance, any guidance, chiropractically or otherwise, give our office a call. I'd be more than happy to take some time out of my day to sit and chat with you. I didn't know that this was going to go here, but I'm glad it did. You have an awesome day. I'll see you later. Bye.